And here we go for another mad plan. You never know what's going to pop up here on the Bush Bee Man site. Because if you've been following this insane journey into beekeeping, you would have seen me out trying to catch these. Catching a swarm, now that's pretty easy. I got that down. I got a pot down here. I got the pot with a screen lid and you just shake the bees in it. Tickety boo. Just you catch them easy. But that's not that simple when people ring you up and say, can you get stuff out of a house or out of me blooming back room and suck the nest out of a, what was that stupid power box you had me go to? So I thought maybe I'll make myself a vacuum cleaner that I can catch the bees in. Or a bee vac, I guess. <laughs> I did see a good caption on, on the internet the other night when a bloke said, if you think you've come up with something new, just think again, because everybody in beekeeping has done everything. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, that sounds pretty cool. So anyway, apparently there's bee vacuum cleaners on the internet. I saw one in a bucket, which I thought was a bit dodgy, but anyway, it's all good. So I thought, what I need is an airtight pot. So I whipped down to the hardware store. Oh, first up, I bought myself an esky. That was a bit interesting, but the esky was a bit small for my plan, so... So I've got a spare esky now, so if we have a beer tomorrow, it'll be cold. Oh, get out, handle. I don't think this was purpose built for a rhino beekeeping box. <laughs> so I thought, you gotta get a hole through here, so I've got some, got some little tank fittings. I've actually got a big old industrial vacuum cleaner that I'm gonna use, just for the hell of it. This is gonna be my vacuum, vacuum box. Like, you know, so obviously, we're going to have an in and an out. And I figured, well, that will be the in up the top. And then I thought, waste not, what not here, as usual, is my motto. I thought, if, ow, that hurt. I thought, if I have my little boxes that the bees came in, I'm going to stick that in my vacuum box. And then I'm going to stick that in top of there. And then when the bees get sucked into that, they'll be trapped in there. We could just take them out and put the lid back on. What do you reckon? Would that work? I reckon that'll work. <laughs> talking about it. I was having a chat with me dad my dad's about 80 odd right and I was trying to I said to him he even watches this show which is kind of scary because you know he corrects me about my talking which is a bit of a ray talking about my parents my poor old mum reckons the bush bee man's going to hell so I'm in trouble <laughs> anyway he couldn't he couldn't figure this out so dad if you're watching this this is my plan the bee vacuum cleaner do <laughs> do so we've got this, this fitting, which is just an old tank fitting, which I thought was pretty cool. It was down the irrigation shop, and I thought that'll work. So I'm going to stick that through here, which is going to be the inlet for the bees. So the bees are going to be coming flying down this tube. Hopefully they don't get too dizzy. My mum reckons they're going to get their lips sucked off, but I don't know if the bees have got lips, but anyway. <laughs> you imagine that, a lipless bee. That'd be funny. Anyway, so this is going to be there, and then I'm going to go drill a hole through this lid and stick it on that bit. So that'll be going through there. So you've got to imagine, you've got to imagine that, that that there is through there. We're going to do this hopefully in a minute. And then those, then the bees will be getting sucked into this tin. We've got to cut a hole in the bottom of this tin because that tin's actually, otherwise they'd have to squeeze out through that little hole and I reckon they might get their lips off. <laughs> anyway, then my plan is I've got another one of these fittings that I'm going to stick on the side wall. I don't know, whichever way. Probably has to go that way around. And then the theory is that this, when we shut this door, this whole box will be a big vacuum. Be a big vacuum box, I guess. Vacuum box? Is that, is that a word? Hey? Vacuum chamber. A vacuum chamber. Ah, I like it. Thank you, cameraman. Vacuum chamber. Very good. See, an edu I did pay for your education. It's good. Anyway, so that's going to be in there. And that's why this mesh is cool. That's when I saw these boxes. I thought, well, how cool is that? They've already done all the work for me. So then they'll get, the bees will come down here, get sucked into this box because this will be in the vacuum chamber. And then hopefully, we'll be able to just take the box off the little lid, put the other lid on, which will be without the hole, and away we go. We should have a box for the bees. But it might all be crap, so you might never see this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, so if we're gonna go, we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go somewhere in the middle. Hey, now that'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it, if we actually measured the shit? Plus 30. So that would mean we've got to go at 15. Don't do anything rash, they say on the internet. When using power tools, you should have your safety gloves on and your glasses and God knows what else. Yeah, look at that. That'll work. Don't you bloody try and 
Oh, the gal on the radio this morning, this morning I went off to the ABC, had a bloke before me that was actually a fly entomologist. A fly, a fly? But I don't know, a fly expert anyway. <laughs> and apparently he reckons that he's going to replace bees to do the pollination and he's going to use flies. And I was just a bit curious as to how you'd get all the flies in a box. Would you turn up with a bag of flies and flick them out or what would be the go? That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Anyway, I decided to tell young Stacy that I don't think I don't think flies are going to replace bees anytime soon. So, so sorry to the fly man, whoever he was. Oh come on! What are you doing? Come on, you dumb drill! Fuck! It worked a minute ago. Don't tell me this drill's about stuff. Ah! straight in this bit. See if that makes it work. Come on, work you piece of shit. I think my drill's fucked. Ah, oh, that's just perfect, isn't it? Damn it, now we have to go and rob the wife's drill. Where's this thing plugged in today, really? Anyway, been in, raided the wife's cupboard. Just remember, this is a boomerang drill. Fuck! <laughs> it was almost no drill. <laughs> Sorry, honey. So, let's see if the wife's drill can drill a hole. <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit. Woohoo! Yeah, make a mess here, lad. I reckon there's 150 bucks down the toilet if this doesn't work. Creamy cricket. Tell you what, we started off this project to try and save some money, and we, I think we're just spending it like you wouldn't believe, don't we? This is, this is like, this is this great big bucket, you just keep throwing shit in it. It's like, a bit like this is gonna be, <laughs> if it works. Apparently she lent me a drill here already, that I don't know where the heck it is. But that's gonna pop through there. Well, hang on, just hold that thought. I got another one of these in the car. If you remember the um, swarm catching bucket pot, thingamajig we've transferred the girls out of here now so i figure i might just steal this little valve off of here because i'm going to make a little um control valve so we can actually regulate the suck i don't know is that a technical term regulate the suck it's even the right size that's something cool now so plan is what do we do with my lid we're going to have that underneath there and that's going to be up there this is a pretty cool drill I've stolen. I might hit this. Oh, chip, ah, shit, crap. Golly gosh, cheap as chips, women, hole drillers. Oh, ah, that'll do. Stop it, stop it. I'll give her a little snip before I wreck my <laughs> lovely wife's drill any more than I already am. Good grief. She might not want it back after I've finished with it. <laughs> That'd be nice and smooth. So I was a bit worried about those sharp edges, but they're not going to have to be any. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's a drill I stole last time from her. <laughs> Fuck, she said I had it already. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling. God. And then I figure that can go up there. All I need is something for it to sit on. Look at that. That's going to be crap. If it actually works, we'll trim it up a bit, eh? So, sorry, um, William, for your um, box, your bees coming. I hope I'm, I'm, hope I'm not going to get in too much trouble for that. Beautiful and smooth. I thought I would have had to put some tape on there. Look at that. That's fucking kick ass. So, we've, we've made an exec. Ah! <laughs> we've made an executive decision that we need more sustained tins. No, anyway, we're going to put it down here. So, is that the suck will be at the bottom and. We put it up here, then the tube will be hitting the box, and that will be crap. Box! <laughs> ah! <laughs> now, children, that's why you should put your safety glasses on. <laughs> you probably don't really need, I don't know, but I just thought it might be a good idea to be able to adjust the vacuum in this box, because you can't really turn the vacuum cleaner down. 
And if you open it up and all you've got is bee guts, well, it's not going to be good, is it? So I thought, well, we'll have this here. Have a little gate valve. Hell, you'd think a bloke could afford a texter, wouldn't you? But anyway, having said that, if any of you people would like to sponsor our Patreon page, maybe you could buy one. Here we go. Oh, that, that's a bit snuff, eh? La, 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 la. <laughs> right, so now, we've got that, got that, got that. Next question or problem to be discussed. How far away is the vacuum cleaner gonna be from the box? Because that will determine how far, how long we cut our sucking hose. Because the hose that's sucking the bees will be as long as we can possibly make it, won't it? Beep, 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 be